Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Farming Simulator 19 with your boy, CJ Farms. And today we are picking up from where we left off last time, guys. We got those fields cultivated. Uh, got our chickens fed. Got our cattle fed. And now we are taking these tractors back to the main farm. Um, we are on our way back to pick up a uh, cedar to take it back down there and hope this guy keeps up with me and to start sowing the grass in that field but before we do that we have to we have to get the fertilizer down there and uh, since we're going up here to the main farm we're gonna check on those potatoes while we're up here and make sure that see just see if my guy need, might need a drop or something you know what I mean but guys, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate the love and support. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And smash that like button for me. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, guys. So, to keep from cramming everything in at the end of the video, guys, my description is very, very big. And I have a couple of pages that you guys can follow if you would like. I have one on Facebook called Criminal Justice forward slash CJ Farms. It is simply just a Facebook group page. Um, that you can come into and share your screenshots of your games, your farming games, your LSPFR games, whatever kind of games you got, you can share them in there. And if you have a YouTube channel, guys, you can share the links to your videos in there as well or share your channel. Um, that's what that's for. I also have a CJ Farms Instagram that you guys are more than welcome to come follow where I post all of my screenshots of my... Um, my farming in there and all that guys when I do uh, every time I do gaming guys I take uh, every time I do a video guys I take screenshots and uh, I post those screenshots in my Instagram and you guys are more than welcome to come join that and follow me what is this guy doing what are you doing broski you're gonna be alright don't you hit me don't you hit me alright man come on but guys, you're more than welcome to come follow me on Instagram and, uh, you know, come in there and, and uh, you know, show your love and support to my Instagram channel. I greatly appreciate it. I don't have very many followers on there right now, guys. Now, my main Instagram page and my criminal justice page, I do have quite a few followers on there. I think I have over 700. Uh, but if you can find my CJ Farms, guys, just click the link below for CJ Farms Instagram. If you can find that, you'll definitely find my criminal justice because I've uh, I always tag myself in those pictures so that people can uh, actually find me and follow me on both pages. So, is this guy behind me or what? Where's he at? I don't I don't see the dude. Uh, we're just gonna go on down here and wait on him. We're just gonna park these tractors behind these buildings right here anyway. So, see guys, this is why we gotta build another. Oh, this is why we gotta build another shed so that we can avoid this. I don't want my tractors just parked out in the rain and getting ruined and all that, you know what I mean? So we'll wait till he gets down here. And we're gonna hop out and grab that tractor. All right. And we're gonna park it over here. These tractors are big mamma jamma guys there, no joke. Oh, we should have washed these things. Oh man, I got muddy footprints in here. Yeah, we're gonna take these up to wash. Oh man, what was I thinking? Why not wash these things? All right, so let's park it right there for now. And our cultivators we have for these tractors, guys, I actually had to call somebody to come pick those up because they were just too big to drive down the road behind these things. Um, they would have constantly uh, been catching on trees that, that's out beside the road and telephone poles. and So we actually had to have those picked up and hauled back to the farm, which is currently where they are right now. Uh, we're going to go up and check on our potatoes and see how that part of the farm is going. Alright guys, so it looks like that our potato harvester is ready for a drop. And we are just about full in this thing, man. Uh, it's, man, this is, it's, we're at 85%. We're going to have a lot of harvest, guys, to haul off. Now, if I can get that right up under there. And I don't want them to take off on me. I hate when they take off on me and don't empty the whole harvest. As a matter of fact, to avoid that, I'm going to do something here real quick. I'm just going to pull the tractor up. 
and I'm going to get the potato harvester myself and relieve the worker. And then we'll just leave it parked there. Then I'm going to pull up. That way I make sure that this whole thing empties out into the trailer. All right, there it goes. Let's, let's get it towards the back so we can even it out. There we go. I don't think it's going to hold that whole thing of potatoes. Yeah, it's not. Now that is it, guys. We're going to have to go dump this trailer. So let's go ahead and get back into the potato harvester. And get that worker back on that. And then we're going to take this, guys, and we're going to go dump these potatoes over in the root crop storage. And if anybody knows of a bigger mod that holds your root crop like potatoes and your sugar beets, um, let me know of a mod that I can get for that. Um, I haven't really had much time to look around for it. So, you know, I, I've been putting out content like crazy, guys, and, and uh, making sure you guys have your LSPFR up and running and all that. So it's been kind of crazy the last few days since Rockstar released that update. It's been wild, but that's for the Criminal Justice Channel. We will talk about that on there. This right here is for farming. So if you guys know of a good root crop storage that's nice and big and holds lots of potatoes and lots of taters and uh, root and uh, beets, I surely do appreciate it if you let me know right off the of hand. Thank you, I really do appreciate that. Just, uh, you know, link the mod down there in, in the comment section. And I, I, I greatly appreciate that. My name is Roy D. Marshall. <laughs> You young people probably don't know who Roy D. Mercer is. Hey, hey, yeah, my name's Roy D. Mercer. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dump these potatoes in here. All right, guys, so we are going to have a lot of we're going to have a lot of potatoes and sugar beets and wheat and barley and canola and soybean. And, oh, we've not done soybean yet. We've got to do soybean. But we have a lot of other stuff, guys. All right, there it goes. There we go, man. So this thing will let me know um, when it's done, when it's full. It'll let me know. You won't be able to dump anything else in there. And I don't know why that is. Um, I mean, I, I, I guess everything has its limits, but... Even the silo over here, guys, you can only put 20,000 pounds, I mean 200,000 pounds of crop, of each crop in there max, so kind of does make sense. Uh, after we get down here, guys, uh, we're going to grab that seeder and head down to the uh, fields 25 through 28 and start sowing our grass. Uh, but we'll grab the fertilizer first. So, guys, here is the, uh, here's the, the uh, cultivators we had. To, I cannot talk. Here's the cultivators we had to have hauled in, guys, because hauling these things down the street would have just been a complete and utter disaster. Um, these things are just, especially this tarantula right here, man. It just, you know, it, it, it catches on the poles. It catches on the sides of the trees. They're on the sides of the road. And stuff like this, man, just has to be hauled back and forth. You just got to spend the money for the tow trucks uh, that comes and gets these things. You just you ain't got a choice, man. Just gotta, you just got to do it, so... We're going to grab, uh, let's see, so we're going to need our cedar. So we are going to grab our challenger here. And we're going to go down and grab us, grab this cedar. And let me see if I can possibly squeeze through this area. I don't want to hit anything. Am I close to it? I'm close to it, huh? So we're going to... Now, this is going to be kind of a long haul with our cedar, guys. So, um, so let's let's get this going, guys. Here we go.
All right, guys, we got that down here. And uh, you guys can see I crashed a couple of times. Uh, but it's all in fun and games. You know what I'm saying? Get it fun and games because it's a game. All right, anyway. Uh, so we're going to go back, guys. We're going to grab the uh, fertilizer. So let's get back up there the quick way. Oh, where is the fertilizer? The fertilizer right there. There we go. All right. And I believe we have enough fertilizer in this. We got 93% fertilizer. I would, hate to, I, would, I would hate to think I would have to come all the way back. You know what? We're going to go ahead and just fill it up all the way just in case. That's a big field. So here we go again. Alright guys, so we got our fertilizer down here. Let's go ahead and make sure this is going to hit the edge of the field before we get started. It looks like it is. We got plenty of room. Looks like we need to straighten it up just a tad. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Get it going. And here we go, man. <laughs> guys so we got that field fertilized and it is ready to be seeded now, as you guys can see down there on one part uh, it looked like my worker had actually forgot to um, cultivate part of the field which is not a good thing but it's not necessarily a bad thing either when the cedar goes over it it will take it down to nothing so let's go ahead and get in this and we're gonna get the seeding Let's get up here. We are sitting on grass, correct? Yes, we are. And let's hop out and make sure that this is going to hit the edge of the field. It's very important to make sure of all things that your cedars are going to hit the edge of the field. we got to see where those sprockets are, those uh, hooks that actually dig into the dirt. So it looks like they're back that way a little bit. Uh, we might need to go over just a tad. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to take it over just a tad bit. All right, there we go. I'd rather be too far over than not over far enough. You know what I mean, guys? So let's go ahead and let's set this bad boy down. And let's start seeding our grass, man. There we go. And that is going to do it for this episode of FS19 with CJ Farms, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I appreciate the love and support. 
as I said, guys, check my description for my Facebook group page and my CJ Farms Instagram. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys would come follow me. And, uh, you know, just come to the Facebook group page, share your stuff, and come in there and show your love and support, guys. We can chat in there. We can talk, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, mainly, it's just a place to share your stuff. Um, and then uh, check out my YouTube brothers and sisters, guys. All their links are in the description below. They would greatly appreciate it, and so would I, if you would take the time to go and check out their stuff and subscribe to their channels. Um, I love you all so very much, man. I can never thank you guys enough for everything you do on a daily basis. Um, just showing your love and support here and to the Criminal Justice YouTube as well and the Discord. Uh, guys, I love you all so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Until next time, guys, be positive, stay in good spirits, follow your dreams, keep on keeping on, and keep on farming. CJ Farms is out. We out, baby.